latest news update on Dulce Radio. With the latest, I'm Jason Rushworth. The Labour MP has accused party whips of Westminster of holding information about allegations of sexual harassment to control how politicians vote. Lisa Nandy claims some serious accusations, including child abuse, have been suppressed. She also has told Theresa May about it three times when she was Home Secretary, but failed to act. The first time I raised it with her, she seemed broadly receptive, but she didn't do anything. The second time I raised it with her, she ignored the question, and she was actually challenged by the Conservative MP, Peter Bone, who said this is actually a fairly fundamental issue and needs to be dealt with. The Prime Minister says she wants to start cross-party discussions about the issue. New York's mayor says authorities don't believe there's any additional threats against the city after yesterday's truck attack there. Eight people were killed when a pickup was driven by pedestrians and cyclists in Manhattan. But Bill D. Blasco says while security will be tightened, the city's marathon will be going ahead as planned on Sunday. And he's promised the victims won't be forgotten. Six of them came from other nations here because they saw New York as a special place to be, and we now and forever will consider them New Yorkers. China today says it wants to renew its cooperation with Sri Lanka for its ambitious Belt and Road Initiative, through which Beijing wants to boost trade and economic growth across Asia and beyond. Sri Lanka's foreign minister visited Beijing and for the first such tour by any high-level official from Colombo after the country signed its $1.1 billion debt swap deal under which China has secured the long-term lease of Hambatota Port, raising concerns in India that Sri Lanka may be in the pocket of the Chinese. Death from tuberculosis in India saw a 12% decline from last year and the numbers of new cases or incidents saw a 1.7 decrease according to the report from the World Health Organization. With 1.7 million new cases in 2016, India continues to be the largest contributor to the global burden, but up to a quarter of the 6.3 million new cases of TB uh, occurred the previous year in India. Bangladeshi police have arrested three suspected Islamist extremists and seized weapons and explosives in a raid overnight targeting a homegrown group accused of orchestrating a string of deadly attacks. The trio were detained in a pre-dawn raid at a mango plantation in the northwestern district of Chappi, Nawabanj. Britain's former Prime Minister Gordon Brown has credited a British-Asian eye surgeon with rescuing him from going completely blind. Dr Hector Charla gets a special mention in Old Friends My Life, written by the former Labour leader and Prime Minister from 2007 to 2010. Charla was born in Sikot in pre-partition India to a Scottish mother and an Indian father who was a doctor in the British Indian Army and is praised by Gordon Brown today as a polymath and a world expert in retina treatment. And the festival of Chapal Jatra has taken place in India, known for the tying of shoes to a tree to honour a goddess. As our reporter in India today, Pushpa Patel, went along to find out more. Devotees from across India throng the Lakamma Hindu Goddess Devi Temple in Kalburgi district to mark the festival of Chapal Jatra. During this unique festival, they tie footwears to a tree outside the 600-year-old temple as offering to their beloved goddess. <laughs> This astonishing fact sets this temple apart from all other temples in India. This temple is visited by various communities who believe that all their wishes get fulfilled with the blessings of their powerful goddess. That's it, Job Today's Andilse. I'm Jason Marshall of The Times. Three minutes past four.